Errors told everyone. The generation that grew up in the Midbar, that uh, so there's the door, the generation, Ayotzi Mimitzrayim that left Egypt. 40 years later, that generation is not here. The Torah says, in all of these, there was nobody left from those that were in the original count. So we have a famous uh, Medrash, which Rashi himself quotes, that 15,000 survived, the last 15,000 were not destroyed, but basically it's a completely new generation and uh, new leaders, new officers. So there's the door and the door Boy, Horatz, those who are going to come in there to soil. Now, the door Hayotse Mimitzrayim was, in the words of the Ramban, a door Hanes. They are a generation of miracles. They had the miracles in Egypt, had all the miracles in the desert. So to them, uh, the miraculous existence was natural because that's what they were accustomed to. If you're accustomed to uh, bread falling from heaven every morning, so after 40 years, you don't go to the Makola to buy bread. And they were the door that were the Makabale on Torah. That's the generation that said, now seven Ishma. And therefore, Chazal called them the door Deo. Aside from being the door Anes, they were the generation with the greatest intellect and intelligence because they had viewed, so to speak, the revelation at Sinai and experienced it. Nevertheless, they're not going there to soil. We know all sorts of reasons that the, the Torah itself advances. And then the Mephoshim added to that. Uh, they're not going there to soil. The Dora Ness is not going there to soil. Rashi, in looking at the, the uh, generations, Rashi has an interesting shita, an interesting perspective of it. He says the generation that goes into Eretz Yisrael, they're also the Doraness. It's a different type of Nisim, but he says Eretz Yisrael also is achieved only through Ness. The Yardin is going to split, the Yericho is going to fall because they're going to make our coffers around it. Yoshua is going to stop the sun and the moon. There are continuity of the Doraness. And Rashi, therefore, uh, based on what the Gemara says, that as long as Yoshua was alive, Moshe was alive. Meaning that that state of being that Moshe Rabbeinu created for Klal Yisrael, that they were so mechal mess, continued all during the reign of Yoshua. It's only when Yoshua passes away and the period of the Shoftim begin, of Neo ben Knaz and the other Shoftim, so then there is the great change. 
so then there's no longer the Doraness, but then there's, so to speak, regular, custom, natural generations. Rashi says that it was gradual. That's why it says the moon didn't fall anymore when they came there to Israel. They had to wean that from that, they weaned them from other things, but eventually it's not a Doraness anymore. But it's the, the same, uh, it's, it's uh, the uh, regular uh, human uh, experience that everyone had. And Rashi says that we see in his approach to this week's Parsha. Why does Moshe count the Jewish people again? He just finished counting them. And Moshe could see there's no dramatic change in population or size. So what's the purpose of the count? So Rashi says, mitochi bosom. There is no purpose. It's only to show us the love that Moshe and Kaviochel, the heaven had for Klal Yisrael. So when a person has something that one loves, one counts it over and over again. So uh, people count their money again, even though they know exactly what the balance is. <laughs> so it's Mitol Chibosan, he loves it. He loved the Jewish people. So if you love the Jewish people, you count them, each and every one of them. You call your children every day, even though there's no news. But that's mitol chibosam. So Rashi says that because he says that this generation is still the Doraness. And therefore, there is no reason to count them. There's no empiric reason, no logical reason to count them. There's only an emotional reason. He counts them. The Ramban quotes Rashi naturally. The Ramban always quotes Rashi first. He says, Shalom Mishpat Abchorah. Rashi is, first is Rashi. And then the Ramban will say his pshat. He disagrees with Rashi. He adds to Rashi. But he never discounts what Rashi says. The Ramban has a general shita. The Ramban shita is to minimize mm -hmm. miracles. to take uh, supernatural events and somehow characterize them within uh, the natural world. For instance, uh, in, in the story of Yosef, so Yosef goes out to see his brothers, right? And he can't find them. They went away. Yosef doesn't have ways. He doesn't know where they are. He's ready to go back home. He'll tell his father Yaakov, I went, I went to Shechem and I couldn't find him. On the way back, he meets a man. A man met him. And he asks the man, did you see, you know, uh, 10 guys with black hats walking around? He says, yeah, I saw them tell him, you know, but, you know, you heard them say they're going to Dota. So Yosef turns around and goes to Dota, and then the rest of the story unfolds. Who's this man? The man is a pivotal figure in the, in the history of the Jewish people. 
if he wouldn't have been there, then the other said would have gone home, and who knows, you know, would have would have had to unravel in a different way. So Rashi says it was the Malach Gabriel. Supernatural, it's a nest. The Revolution Kaviochel sent the Malach Gabriel to get hold of Yosef to put him on the road to go to the brothers so that the whole story with the Yusias Mitzrayim would happen. That's what Rashi says. The Rabban says, you know, if Rashi said it, Rashi said it. He said, but there's no necessity to say that. She said it was a regular guy. He didn't know that he was special, doing anything special. So he stopped somebody on the street and he gave you directions. It's not a mess. It's not something unnatural. The only thing is that the Rabboni Shon Kaviochel, the Ashgoche, works through people, works through natural things. So that the story of Yosef and his brothers should happen. But the man himself is not miraculous. The man himself is not an S. The man himself is just a regular person that was on the road and happened to hear the brothers say they're going to Dota. So again, Rashi says it's all miraculous. The Ramban says it's not miraculous, it's the regular, except that we're working history through regular events and regular people. So the Ramban says here by the count, he says, Rashi says the count is mitokibosa, meaning there's no reason for this account. It's just because the um, the Rabboni Shalom loved the Jewish people so much that he counted them again. But uh, this is a generation of nests. We don't need any, uh, you know, there's no reason for any of this. The Ramban says he has to count them because he's got to make an army. They're going to go to Eretz Yisrael. He's got to have an army of tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands. So he has to know Niva Mihochim. What does he have? What are his resources? What's the population? And therefore he has to count them. So he's not counting because Bitochibosa. He's counting them because he has to know how much he, how many men he has. How will he be able to pursue the enemy? So according to the Ramban, this is no longer a Doraness. If it's a Doraness, you don't have to, you don't need an army. If it's a Doraness, you know, you march around Yericho and it falls and forget it. If it's a regular generation, you have to have an army. You have to have a number. You have to have what uh, is practical and realistic. So we see from here, like these two different streams as to how to look at this generation. The generation of the door boy Oretz. Are they a continuity of the door Yotze Mitzrayim? And therefore they're a door Aness? Or are they already the breakoff point that the door Aness, the door Yotze Mitzrayim is over? And now comes a natural door that has to deal with the reality without, so to speak, living as the door on S. And that therefore, that's why the Chumash gives us this count. So you have, the, you have these sheets of Rashi and the Ramban that underlie a certain viewpoint as to uh, cloudy soil and the desert itself. I don't know if